Hey guys, so I'm just going live right now because I am going to do a video that has been much requested and I promised Brittany I would do. I actually want to go live and do two videos. We'll see how long this takes. I have a feeling this is going to take a pretty long time. So, I look really oily and shiny. Um, hi Anna. I actually did some moving around in my room and I took down this big mirror, but if I open up the curtains because I'm right in front of this big window, um, it's actually, it washes me out so much you can't even see me. All you see is shine right here. That's it. So, um, hi. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the live like this. Hopefully you guys can see. Um, I'll get closer because I'm going to do an eye look, so I'll get closer so you guys can see. Um... But yeah, so I'm just going to get started. I'm doing some darker colored eyes today. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I haven't practiced or anything. I'm just kind of winging it. So <laughs> we'll see if this looks like the picture that was submitted. I don't know. It might not even look anything like it, but it'll be the same colors. <laughs> so we'll see. I'm just going to take my primer. I'm going to prime my face, and then I'm going to prime my eyes as well. And while that sits, I'm going to gather the, the palette and colors that I'll be using to show you guys. So, oh my gosh. I'm really nervous because this is, this is a very bold look. It's using blues and yellows. Um, if you guys saw it, it was actually on um, a comment that it posted asking um, to give me some fun ideas for some eyeshadow looks. And Brittany... Um, is the one that commented a couple pictures so those are the two that I want to do today one of them is like a mauve with pink and maroons like I love those colors so I have you know no doubt in my mind that I have those colors and that that one will look bomb the other one <laughs> it was blue and it was kind of a halo eye with yellow in the middle like gold um, so yes, I did buy the fourth palette, so the Moodstruck palette number four, so that I could have a blue to use, because in the singles, Unique doesn't make a blue like that. Um, so I got it in the mail already, and I'm ready to do it. It's just out there. It's a little out there for me, but we'll see how this looks. It's, it's for fun. I'm not planning on going anywhere anyway yet today, so... I, you guys might be the only people to see it. I don't know. <laughs> um, but it's in palette number four. Okay. I'm just grabbing my palettes, guys. And I'm gonna, gra 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 I'm gonna grab my color switch, too, because, yep, I washed this. And I think it's still a little bit dry. Um, I, I think it's still a little bit wet. We'll see how that works with my brushes. I know. <laughs> yeah, right? When you lived behind, who was it? Behind Gabriella? Or by Madison? Oh my gosh, yes. I still remember those houses. <laughs> Every time I drive by there, I think of you guys. <laughs> um, So this is the blue that I'm going to be using. It's called Triumphant, and it's this corner one here. And I was thinking of maybe doing this gold here. Um, It's called Secretive, but the gold in the... Yes, the swings... Uh, the gold in the picture is actually a little bit more yellow, so I might have to dig into another palette. I don't know if number one would have one like that, because that one's more neutrals. I mean, maybe. That one's a cool tone. That one's not. Let's see if I have a single. I'll be like it. I you can tell I'm so prepared for this, you guys. I was waiting for palette number four for the blue because I did not have a blue like that at all. Um, these are gonna be too bronzy. I can't use these ones. I might have to use just one that's in the palette. I think those are too bronzy. Oh, I might be able to use this one. I might have to use this one. So Hey boo boo! You're watching me, boo-boo. <laughs> um, no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a halo eye. So it's basically blue on the outsides. And then right in the middle for like a pop of color, it's going to be that gold. But it has to be like a gold yellow. And I have a lot of like bronzy gold. So I'm trying to find the right one. I think it might have to be this one. Um, so these are my shadows. <laughs> these are my shadows. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell because of the light. But... There's a few of those, and there's a few of those. I'm thinking I'll have to use this gold one right here. 
I don't know if you guys can see the color there very well. Um, but that's basically, it's a gold and it's a champagne. And this one's like a white cream in the corner here. So champagne and then a cream. You'll see those there. But these are the, this is my basically my shadow collection. I have all the colors with Unique. I just haven't busted these out to play. Um, but a lot of the looks, like you can get away with just using like a palette. And that's the easiest thing, um, using the palette because they're all right there. And I mean, that comes with enough shades as it is. This is my other one that I have. So these are the rest of the pressed shadows with Unique. You guys can see right there. I think you guys can see the colors, all the colors there. But you see how like this gold right here is like a bronzy gold. Um, this right here is more of like a champagne and then this one's like a white kind of shimmery it's it's they're not like yellow gold yeah so what do you think Yadira the one on the top right the one I showed first I think that's more of a gold I don't know but yeah I think I'll just use that one and then uh, the blue from palette number four it has to be that blue I have no other blue and that's actually very very similar to that blue that's in that picture there um, so the blues over there are like light blue and like electric blue like not even similar to this so let me see if I can show you guys I'll try to take it out here oh I just dug my finger in that green one <laughs> Okay, I'm going to leave this out, so I'm not just picking up this whole, yeah, the first one. Okay, perfect. Thanks, girl. Um, so I'm just digging up this whole palette. I have the gold right here. Um, excuse my nails. <laughs> so this is the gold that I'm going to use, and you can see a big finger mark right there from where I swatched it. Um, so this is the gold that's going to go in the pop, in the middle for the pop of color and this is the blue in the corner so both of these together I don't know if you'll be able to see oh seriously <laughs> I'm just sticking my fingers in all of these shadows guys because I'm so unprepared but I don't know if you'll be able to see both of them together and I'll show you where I stuck my finger you can see right there in the corner maybe you can't right there in the corner I just stuck my finger in there <laughs> Anyway, it's that blue and this gold. And this gold is going to be like right in the center. The blue is going to be all on the outside. Um, for you, Brittany. For you, Brittany. You did the red lips for me, so I'll, I'll do this for you, Brittany. Anyway, um, another request that she did have, because I've been taking so long to do this, is a to use a baby pink. Now, I have a baby pink. I have a uh, baby pink uh, lipstick, liquid lipstick. I just, uh, you guys saw the video where I showed you all the colors? Yes, Cleopatra. Oh my God, I would love to do a look of Cleopatra like that. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely not good at the liner though. Um, this look in the picture did not have a wing liner, so I'm very excited for that because I, I suck at wing liner. You, on the other hand, girly, you are the bomb at wing liner. I bet you could pull that off. Definitely. The Cleopatra look. Oh, now I want Halloween to be here already, you know? <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you saw the video where I showed you all the colors with the liquid lipsticks. Yeah, boo-boo, you should do it. Oh my God, you have the hair for it and everything. Okay, that's it. You have to stay and work with me till October, the end of October. We'll see if I'm there. <laughs> um, but yeah. This pink. She wants me to do this look with this baby pink. I'm gonna show this look with the baby pink just for Brittany, but I will switch it out for a nude and show you what I would use for myself with this look. Because this pink is very, very baby pink. It's very, like, Barbie kind of pink. Just very pastel-y for me. It's, it's not something I would use, but I have it. <laughs> so, Yes, I did my face primer. I didn't do my eye primer. I should have done that while I was talking. So let's go ahead and do that. But yes, that's 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 the look I'm going for. Again, we're going to see, first of all, how long this takes me and how it turns out. Because I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't done a look like this. A very involved look. 
typically my eyeshadow looks are even if I do bold it's like two three colors and I do one on my lid one on the crease and one on the outer V and that's it that's the typical I stick to except if I try anything else it tends to mesh together and look like muddy and gross on me and then it looks like I mix two colors together versus the two colors that you should be seeing so I really don't know I don't know how this will turn out we'll see we will see <laughs> cross your fingers <laughs> So I'm just cleaning up my area here because I did um, switch out here a lot of stuff, but I feel like I have too much stuff on the counter now, so um, try. I need space. Um, while my eye primer sets, though, I did want to go over the kudos. I'm really excited for this month's kudos. Yes, they are very bold. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how they look. <laughs> We'll see how they look. Um, again, I'm not planning on going anywhere. You guys might be the only ones to see this today. Um, that's why I started with this. Like, just get it over with. Because I, I really, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to look like, guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just playing around. Anyway. Um, I, for the kudos for this month, um, it's $58. Okay. The kudos is basically our monthly deal. The kudos change every month okay so for this month we are um, doing the epic mascara so you get the epic mascara we have two mascaras that we sell epic is the one that comes in this deal then you can choose between I think it was like 28 colors of the splurge cream shadow so you can choose between 28 colors. This is the one I'm going to use today as a base. So this is called uh, Victorious. This is the beige nude one. But I'll show you guys over here a little more dramatic one. This is my favorite one. And this is limited edition. Okay. This is called Mysterious. <sighs> Thanks, Adira. Cross, I'm crossing my fingers because this is live. <laughs> this is Mysterious. It's like a maroon. Hey, cuz, I just saw your messages, so that sounds good. Um, this is the maroon one. It's called Mysterious. This is my favorite. It's limited edition. There are three that are limited edition, and I have them all. I have shown them in the previous video, but I'll go ahead and show them right now, just while my color, my primer dries here. So, there is, uh, I don't think this is one of them. I'm not sure if Tanisha's is one. This ferocious. Yeah, I don't think... I think t this one is not the limited edition one, the gold one that's there. But this is a bronzy gold. This is called Tenacious. Do you like Mysterious, Boo Boo? Oh my god, I love it. It's my favorite. And they're, uh, some are glitter and some are matte. Uh, Mysterious and Tenacious are um, glittery. And then there is Ferocious. Now, Ferocious is like a navy blue. But it's very pretty. I love this one. I've used it a couple times, you can tell, but you need a very, very tiny amount of this. It's so pigmented. And Cream Shadows, these dry mattes, and they they last all day, honestly. Um, I've used the Cream Shadows, and my makeup starts looking splotchy at the end of the day, especially if I've been picking at my face or rubbing my face. And they'll stay on, like, nobody's business. They don't budge. They don't go anywhere. So, I do like those. And then I have Magnificent as the black one. This is the one that I use for my eyeliner. But today's look doesn't require eyeliner. I'll just use a little bit of this um, to line my eyes at the top and no wing liner. So, I'll just do that. But yeah, so that's the kudos. The mascara, uh, your choice of 28 colors for a cream shadow. And then we actually have five colors for the Hottie Lip Plumper. Now, this is an item that was around, I believe I want to say it was like... April or May it was part of the million millions collection or something like that so this came back now I have the original hottie lip plumper okay this, this is the one you can prime your lips with this it plumps your lips but then you could still add an, a lipstick or something on top and um, 
this has no tint to it, nothing. Even though it looks pink on there, there's no tint, nothing. Okay, they came out with five shades of the Limp Plumper that you could use as lipsticks. They are highly pigmented, highly pigmented. Five shades other than this one, so this makes it six. So six of the Hottie Lip Plumpers available of your choice, you get one with the Epic and the Spurge Cream Shadow, which has 28 choices, okay? You get all of this, all three things, for $58, which is 25% savings of if you were to buy them separately, okay? That is awesome because I just ordered all of the colors for the Hottie Lip Plumper. I'm excited. They're super pigmented, even more pigmented than our Liquid Lip Splash. So I'm very excited. And they plump up your lips. They do the two-in-one thing. Um, I'm very excited. Uh, if you guys are interested in this collection, you need to message me because this sells out so quick. So I cannot imagine those five colors not selling out so quick. A lot of you guys were messaging me and asking me about the liquid eyeshadows in the Beach Kissed, Beachfront Kiss collection. Um, and the ones that I was getting asked about the most actually sold out very quickly. Already sold out. Out of stock. Not available anymore. So if you want this, get your hands on this. Okay? Message me. For deals if that's too pricey like just message me that's all you gotta tell me just message me so yes I'm excited I am gonna use those today so I'm gonna prime my eyes with the plumper I'm gonna do it now so you guys can kind of see the difference you might not be able to tell too much if I'm talking but I can tell and yeah this doesn't burn or sting your lips but you get that tingling sensation I don't know if you guys ever for, for my local girls, um, Bath and Body Works, do you guys remember those like mint lip glosses that were meant for pl plumping your lips? Um, or even just their menthol ones, you know how it kind of tingles on your lips? That's exactly what this does. Exactly what it feels like, exactly what it does. It's kind of like pepperminty. So, I, I believe that's part of the whole plumping thing. Like that's, that's why it has to be minty. Um, because of the ingredient in there or whatever, but I love it, so... And I go ahead and do this. And again, this is no tint. It looks pink in the tube, but no tint whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a lip stain over this when we're done, too. Uh, this kind of stays a little glossy into your lips for a little bit. So just let it set, settle in there. And you're going to feel and see the difference, okay? Now, with time, I'm assuming it'll be the same for the other ones. I haven't really read too much up on them. But with time, if you use the original one, which is this one, no color to it, um, this actually helps to give you more lip, especially if you don't have any um, or for the girls who have really thin lips. There's some girls, you know, everyone's built differently, right? But um, the longer lips, they're just a little bit thinner. My sister is one of them. Um, this, with time, if you use it every night, just like the Lash Serum, this will help, help to give you more lip. And it will be more pronounced, so... I'm assuming it's the same with the other ones. So, I mean, if that's the case, guys, that's that's a big steal. And these are products that I'm noticing Unique has brought out at some point, and they're coming back. So, that's awesome. That's awesome. Because people ask for them all the time. So, we got to give the people what they want, right? I mean, I'm one of the ones that ask for them all the time. But, yeah. I'm just going to gather my brushes together here. So I'm going to start with... Now you don't have to do this where you prime your eyes and then go in and do um, a base. But I wanted to because I was going to be using uh, pressed shadows. Um, or the shadows from the Addiction palette. And these ones are not primer infused. So with this you do need um, primer. So we're going to go ahead. Hi everybody that's popping on. Say hi so I know you're watching. Um, I'm going to use the um, Victorious Cream Shadow, and this is just a nude beige. I'm going to use this as my base, but I'll show you guys the difference. I'm going to do it just on my lid here, and I'll get closer so you guys can see the difference. And then, um, and then I'm going to complete this whole eye with it so you guys can see the difference between both. You can see I have discoloration here at the bottom of my lid versus up here, and... You'll see the difference here. I'm looking over here because I have my mirror, guys. Hi, Erica. This is the one I was telling you about. So this is Victorious, the nude beige. This is the one that I like to use as my base. So I'll show you guys here. 
but if you go back and watch the replay, um, Erica, you will see the other colors that I showed that are available. There's 28 colors to choose from, girls, so there's plenty. And this is so quick. You can do it with your fingers. I just have longer nails than I typically do right now, so I don't like to get gunk underneath them. I don't like how that feels. <laughs> but you can totally do this with your fingers, and you're good to go. And... Okay, so there's that. There's the, do you see how pigmented this is? This You see the difference? And this is just on my lid, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the eye here. And they, these, these little pots, they're very um, similar to like the MAC paint pots and um, a dip brow things. Like these will last you forever, I promise. I use this all the time. And they're still, it doesn't even look like I've even like bridged it like there's like a little like dome shape to it it doesn't even look like I've gone past the dome shape so <laughs> there's still a lot in there and this is just the one I like to use for my skin tone if you're lighter we have different options for you there is uh, jubilant that's like a dusty mauve there's bittersweet which is a little uh, peachier pinker various different options Various different shades you could choose from whatever you're comfortable with. So there I applied it with my brush and I'm just going through and blending it with my finger. I feel like I have some here on the base. Ah, uh, this is gonna bug me. There we go. Come out. Okay, whatever. You see the difference. This covers up everything. If you have redness, veins, anything popping through, this covers it up all. So, or covers all of it up. So, yes. I'm going to do the other eye now. And. I keep getting, I'm in a messenger, in Facebook messenger, um, I have like group chats and stuff, and I keep getting pop-ups of the messages, <laughs> so if I look up and it looks like I'm staring blankly into the screen, I'm reading that. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's not something I have to take care of. But yeah, okay, so I have both my eyes done, that's all I did, I just did um, the cream shadow. The nude. And I did grab a coffee earlier. I dropped off an order. I grabbed coffee, ate breakfast, cleaned, and then I took a shower. So, yes, my hair is still wet. And we're going to play with makeup. Again, I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to be. So we'll see how long this takes me. I have no way to see the time on my on my phone. So I really... I don't know how long this is going to take me. We'll see. Alright. We're going to start with the blue. So, here we go. I am going to grab... Trying to figure out which brushes to grab. Because I want to keep it kind of in one spot. I don't want it to go everywhere. Let me see. I have a lot of brushes. I have to move them out of the way so I can see all the good ones. <laughs> that makes sense. I have them in like a cup holder. So they're like this. I have to move all the big ones out of the way so I can see all my eye ones. Alright, and then this one was for the cream shadow. I'm not using that one. Okay. So Let's do this. I'm going to do the angle shadow and sponge brush. I'm going to use the sponge side. This is a dual ended brush, but I'm going to use this one just because I want to keep the blue concentrated. So again, this is going to be a halo eye. It's going to be, you know, dark kind of navy blue around the outsides of my eye all around. And then it's going to be a pop of gold right in the middle. So <laughs> again, this has not been rehearsed. 
we'll see how this turns out. And I have my mirror right here, guys. So if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at my mirror. I'll show you guys here. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to look like. Oh my god, this looks more black. Now I'm kind of mad. <laughs> this is more black than anything. But it's blue. Why are you so dark, bro? Why don't you look like what you're supposed to look like? Maybe if I blend it out, it'll lighten up. This has, again, no wing liner with this, so it's just, <laughs> I look like a, I don't know, like a panda. Like I'm going to look like a panda. Alright. Let's try and blend some of this out, see if it blends. So, I just put blue in the middle, blue on the outside, and then I did like a little line right there. This looks more black. Can you guys tell it's blue? Because it looks really black here. But I swear it's blue. It's blue. I don't know. We'll see. Mm, I don't like that one. So I'm going to take the blending brush. That was the crease brush. I don't know you guys. We'll see what this looks like. I'm gonna add some more with the sponge. I feel like there's something in my eye right here and I can't get it. I don't know. That's going to bug me though. Alright, it might be coming together. I don't know. I can't tell yet. This will do it here. I love this blending brush because whatever you think you messed up on or whatever you think is like gross and looks bad, you just keep blending with this and it this puts it all together. This is like magic. Like that little magic touch that you needed. This is what it does. That's exactly what this brush is. So I'm hoping that if I try to not make this look muddy and gross, that this blending brush will do the job for me and just fix it in the end. You know, make it come together. So the, this is, <laughs> you guys, I'm getting fallout. This is exactly why I did my eyeshadow first. I can see all like the glitters and sparkles falling here. It was the previous color that I used with this. Um, but yeah, so there's one eye. I'm going to do the blue on the other side, and then we'll worry about the gold later. I just want to make sure I can even these eyes, or making them look even. Because I always have trouble with this side, since I'm right-handed. I feel like I put too much, much more pressure on this side than that side. You see how that one's just darker? I mean, I know it's not blended out, but I there's always one side that gives me trouble, and it's always this side. And then, I don't 
remember if the picture had like a pop of color in like the middle or something. I'll kind of make it my own depending on what I see. I don't know. Hi. Hi everybody. Thanks for watching. I am attempting a scary look today. Scary for me. So we'll see how it comes out. All the faces that I do when I'm blending my shadow. I'm sorry you guys have to see that. Alright, I feel like this one might be... I did. I did put it on. That's what's on my lips right now. I have, I don't have the colors because I just ordered them. So I have the, um, the original one. So this is what the original looks one. It looks, or the original looks like, it looks pink in here, but there's no tint to it. Like there's no color to it. It just looks glossy and then it, that soaks into your lips. So that's what I'm letting this do because over this one, you can put a lip color, lip stain, whatever you want to do. Um, with the other ones, the other ones are already tinted. So the other ones already have color and they're very pigmented. You can't, you can layer it with other stuff, but that's the color that's going to show through. Um, so yeah. It, it kind of looks like a gloss, and it kind of feels like a gloss, but it'll set in your lips, and it'll die down a little bit, and then you can add another lip color. That's why I did that right now while I'm doing my eyes, while that kind of sets in there. So, um, It just tingles on your lips, so it feels like minty, kind of pepperminty. So that, that means it's doing its job, so that's good. So over this one, I'm actually going to do a liquid lipstick um, over the lip plumper. So I just wanted to work on my eyes because I didn't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And I didn't know how long it was going to take. I feel like this one blends so much. But look at the difference, you guys. Like, I know this one's not done. But I feel like this one is so much more blended and nicer compared to this one. And it's because... I'm right-handed, and this side is so much easier than reaching over. I feel like I'm always heavy, more heavy-handed on this side when I have to do this. And yes, I've tried with my left hand, and I suck, so I'm not going to do that. I feel like this, this part right here is more centered than this one, so I'm going to move this over a bit. Which part has blue? I feel like I just closed this off, but I'll fix it here. That has more blue than this one. Hey guys. Those of you popping on. Hi, Sadie. Hi everybody, say hi so I know you're here. There was no other colors that I saw in the look. Hi Anna. There's no other colors that I saw in the look other than the blue and the gold. So this is literally the two colors I'm going to use. I didn't see any browns or anything in the crease or so I'm gonna assume that this is this is it um, I'm going off of a picture that I was asked to recreate <laughs> this is my hey 
Thank you. I'm doing, so I'm trying to recreate a look from a, a picture um, I was asked to do, and I thought it'd be fun, but I'm scared because it's, it's a very bold color, and I really don't know what the heck I'm doing here, so we'll see how this looks. Hopefully it looks all right. I'm not planning on going anywhere, but <laughs> you guys are all watching, so it's intimidating. <laughs> All right, I feel like one side is a little darker, but that's how I'm gonna leave it. I feel like I blended the inside of these ones more than this. So I'm gonna go back and just add a little more color and not blend that part so much. Cause you can still see the darkness over here. But I want that to show through before I add the gold too. This is why I started with this, because I didn't, I don't know. I feel like this one has a whole bunch of glitters. I don't know if you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of glitter around my eye from the shadow that I last used with this blending brush. So this one's got a whole bunch of glitter. It's funny. Alright, I'm going to leave it as is because I don't want to mess this up and it's just frustrating me. So, I'm going to add the gold. No, scratch that. I'm going to do like a cream shadow under my brows. And I'm just going to use a different palette for that. I think I'm going to use palette one. I think it's this one. Yeah, I'm just going to grab Elated. So that's the cream shadow here in the corner. Just the cream. I'm trying to help you guys see. <laughs> it's just a cream. This is literally what it looks like. I know the light's hitting it, but it's it's just a cream. So I'll go ahead and grab that. I'm gonna clean up my brush here because the last colors that I did were very sparkly and glittery, and I have all my brushes have glitter in them. So there we go. Alright, I'm gonna grab a later and I'm just gonna go under my brows. That's literally it right there. Okay, now I kind of want to pack the gold on. I just, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to use the cream shadow brush because it has some of my splurge cream shadow on it. So now I'm going to take the gold and I'll place this right in the center of my eyes. Maybe if I go here. There we go. Now you can see it. That's the gold. Don't mind my nails. I know they're gross. <laughs> I'm scared, you guys. Do you see that? The gold? Shit. I'm just keeping it on my lid area, but I want to spread it out. Because I'm going to take some more blue and probably blend that together. Alright, so I just packed it in the middle. I know this one doesn't look quite like the middle, um, but I'm going to go ahead and fix them. So I'm just, that was the gold. I'm going to go ahead and do some more of the blue and just blend it out. And I'm just using that same sponge brush.
see how there's some blue up at the top here. So I'll go ahead and kind of go outside into the crease here and bring these colors together. So it looks more of a halo eye than just a blop in the middle. So I'm just going to do the blending brush. I really want the two colors to show. So I'm just blending around it. Um, and it looks a little harsh right there, but I'll take another smaller brush and just blend in between there. I just don't want to lose the blue because I want the blue to sh still show so that the golds can look overall more pigmented because of the blue, the darker shadow there. So it's not just like, like black and gold, it's blue and gold. Or like gray, because if I blend this out, it'll look gray. I love this brush, you guys. It seriously makes it so easy to blend it out. I'm just going to add some more of this. I think I got the hang of this now. I don't know. It might not come together. We'll see. <laughs> well, that gold is very shimmery, guys. You see all the specks up at the top up here? It's very shimmery. And that one's not in the palettes. That one's just the single pressed shadows that we sell. They're like eight bucks or something. did that and I'm gonna grab this nothing I'm not gonna do that I think I had some blue on here so I'm just gonna blend this here Alright, I think I'm done with the eyes. That's as good as I can get it, at least for me. <laughs> I'm just going to add a little bit more gold on here. There we go. Alright, so that's it. That's the eyes. I'm going to do a little bit of the eyeliner with my eyeliner brush. Oh, I almost dropped all my stuff here. And... This eyeliner brush, you guys, I'm so excited because this is now in stock for sale. You do not have to buy kudos or anything to get this eyeliner brush. So this is the one that I've been using for my eyeliner. I love this brush. And I've been using my, I think it's called Magnificent, the black cream shadow. This one um, in the picture did not have a winged liner. So I'm just going to line the top and... Um, Put some mascara on and then I'll finish the rest of my face um, I always do my bottom lash when I'm done with everything so I feel like it just brings everything together this had the exact same thing up on the top on the bottom lash so I'll do that when I'm done with my face and everything
we do have um, liquid liner and stuff for this, but I I used to use gel liner, so this is as close as I come to eyeliner. I feel like I have more control when I'm using a brush, so that's exactly what I'm doing. My version of gel liner. <laughs> So I'm going to do my mascara, I'm not going to do my bottom lash just yet. And I'm just going to use the Epic um, because I'm going to do the 3D on top so I'll do the Epic. I thought I got gold on this. Probably from all the shadow on my lashes. Alright. That is my eyeshadow with the Epic. I hope you guys can see. And then that is that with nothing. I love this, this um, mascara. And then again, I'm going to top it all off with the 3D, but that's going to be my very last step because I want that to be applied to this once this dries. That'll be like my second coat of mascara so that my lashes can still peek through. Again, I'm not going anywhere. I should go somewhere now that I'm getting all done up, right? This actually looks a lot better than I thought I would do. It sounds bad, but I had no confidence in myself for this. I am going to do, I feel my lip plumper is dying down a little bit here. I'm going to do um, my pressed powder in poplin, but I want to do some concealer. So, we got... So this one, yeah. This might be a little bit light for me, but I don't care. I'm going bold today, so let's do. Oh, I should do eyebrows. Mm. I'll do concealer first. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of concealer with my concealer brush concealer brush you really only need a tiny bit and even this is a lot you guys you see that blob right there? that's what she had done so Alright, I just did under my eyes, a little bit around my nose, a little bit down my nose, and some on my chin. That's all I did. Um, I don't really do this unless I'm planning on like highlighting and all of that stuff, but I actually have a cream highlighter today. So, I'm not going to be highlighting with my regular one. I'm going to be highlighting with a cream one and I'll show you guys I'm really excited this is the same one that I have in my powder version it's just a um, 
my cream, a cream form. So, be using that today. Again, all these faces that I make when I do my makeup, this is all for you guys. <laughs> you guys get to see all, all this stuff for free. This is a dual ended brush. This is the powder concealer brush. I like this for blending this out. Um, for my foundation, I use the foundation. Um, I think it's called the foundation brush. Liquid foundation brush that has a little hole in the middle. So I needed a purpose for this brush, so that's what I'm doing. I just use this for concealer. It blends everything out. This concealer is in the shade um, Scarlet. So this is actually a few shades too light for me. But I'm doing the powder today foundation, which is actually what I've been sticking to. So this should be fine. I'm going to look really <laughs> white. You see? You can tell it's a very much lighter than me. I, I look like I'm a clown. I look like I'm getting ready to go to the circus. <sighs> to be in the circus. Hi, Janet. But I'm not. <laughs> this is all going to be covered up with the powder, so it's going to look a little more normal and decent. So, this is just the before. This is the before the pretty stage, you know, like the whole Do you guys remember when like the whole contouring and highlight came out and it literally was like dots and you looked like like someone put a clown wig on you you'd look like a clown this is what all that is and then you blend it and then you pull your foundation and then it makes sense this is what this is so you guys can see how much how different my face looks I look so whited out right now because of my light and this color if you guys know my sister this is the color of concealer that she uses so if you guys saw me ever saw me and my sister together this is, this is not my color <laughs> so I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna do my foundation before I do my brows I just don't want to be careful <laughs> when I do my foundation so I'm using the pressed um, do you see the difference between my foundation and the concealer? <laughs> uh, I just don't want to be careful with my foundation. I want to pack it on. And this comes with um, a little powder, powder thing. So that's what I'm using with it. This has been my go-to foundation. I love it. I seriously love it. I still bring this down my neck just to make sure it gets all evened out. Just up here. I want you guys to see the full difference before I tackle the under eyes. Hi guys. Hi Abby. <laughs> So this is one full side. This is how much the powder covers it. And then you still see the concealer and the difference in the color here. So now I'm going to go through and cover this. And now you see it's evened up. This is washing me out. But I promise this is my color. I'm just too close to the light is what it is. It's what I'm going with. Because in the mirror, I look fine. I look fine. So, now I'm going to do 
my um, eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I am going to do my brow pencil today just because I want a little bit darker brows and the powder, the powder, mm, my routine with the powder, they still look a little bit lighter than my hair. Um, so I want them a little bit bolder for this look so that in pictures or anything it doesn't wash my face out so I've been wanting to get into that routine also of when I do lives to take a picture and post it in the comments so just look for that I think I did it in my last live too when whenever there's like a makeup look involved um, just so you guys can really see because I feel like in the video sometimes depending on my lighting and the day and the time of day it's not really allowing me to show you guys like the full colors and their potential <laughs> my son has a friend over so if you guys hear noises that's what they're doing they're playing i told him today that we were going to go through his toys and clean out a bunch of them and he started crying he loves toys but he has way too many and this is literally summer and his friend who comes over when they play it's literally toys galore and it gives me a headache <laughs> yes and you'll tell them to clean up and they they somewhat clean or they won't right away right because they're not done playing this is what he says all I'm not done no you're done if I say you're done you're done but it, you can't clean it. There's too many. It just looks like a big mess anyway. So, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to slowly start. And this is so bad. <laughs> this is so bad, but I'm seriously going to start, like, cleaning them out, like, a few at a time. When he doesn't see me. Like, when I go to work, just to take a few. It's, you see the difference that the brows do? Like, this is how I'd want them to look all the time. I feel like my, my brows, though, I have a lot of hair. I feel like they just look too bold. But this is what I wanted it to look like for this eye. So, that's fine for right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to take a few when he's not looking. Because there's some that I know he doesn't play with, and I know he's going to cry over, and you, he hasn't touched it in years. And I'm like, no, that, that's got to go. Like you, you just are crying because you're looking at it right now, but it's not your favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to do that. Because if he's seeing it, he thinks he wants it, and he thinks he needs it, but like... You didn't know you still had this until I pulled it out, you know? Like, why are you lying? Don't lie to me. I know you. <laughs> like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that might be another tip I have to do. I just, it's a matter of doing it, you know? He's got so much. And I seriously want to take, like, two-thirds of it and just throw it away or give it away or what like just get it out of the house thanks <laughs> thanks Erica um but I just it's too much and I know he's gonna notice but that seriously is half of what gives me my headaches all the time first of all the noise because just hearing him when he's trying to get a toy going through all of his toys like I hear it and I'm like oh my god there's so much <laughs> um yeah they're literally all jammed in the other room it's too much. This is the brow pencil that we have, you guys, by the way. This is the Precision Brow Liner. It comes with a little brush at the end and then um, just like a fine point at the tip there. And this is, I always do the darker colors, so this one is dark. There's like brunette and all kinds of different colors, but this is the one I use. And this is the one that I use for a daily basis, as well as when I'm doing a bolder look like this and I want them to match my hair. Um, 
because if I do the powder, the powder is dark too. It comes with two powders, a light one and a dark one. But I feel like with that one, they just look, no matter what I do, it's still a lighter color than this. And in pictures, it washes it out, especially if I have a bold eye to go with it. So I don't, I don't really like that. guys I don't have access to my clock on my phone so I really don't know how long this live is so far I told you guys I really didn't know how long this was gonna take I grabbed my coffee because I knew I would need it I just This is seriously, when I do an eyeshadow look, this is seriously how long I take with my brows. Now I know their sisters not twins, but it bugs me that they're not twins. I want them to be twins. I want twins. Right? Everybody wants twin eyebrows. Whoever says they don't is lying. I think I'm gonna leave that alone again before I mess things up <laughs> okay so I'm done with that now I'm gonna finish the rest of my face so I do have a new blush that I wanted to use with this I'm not I haven't tried it out so I'm not sure what it's gonna look like but I have a new blush this one is just uh, the pressed uh, blushes that we have and this is called sweet so it's just kind of it's kind of a peachy color. I don't know if you guys can see there. It's like a peachy pinky. It's more it looks pink. It's more peachy. And then my bronzer. And then this is the highlighter I want to use. It's a cream highlighter. And this is uh lustrous. So I have this one in I have this one in the powder form, but I'm using the cream form. I don't know if you guys can see that so we'll do those and I'm gonna do bronzer I always start with bronzer so I'm gonna do bronzer and I take it always with my powder brush now this look the look that she sent me just showed the eyes so I'm not worried about like matching the rest of the face to that look or anything so, I'm going to do this how I normally do it, like my normal routine for this. So, I'm done with that. I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll do the highlighter first, and then I'll do the blush. So, it's just a stick cream, and I'm just going to, it's very creamy. Can you guys see that? It's very creamy. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out. I just want it placed. And it looks, eh, it looks gold. Not rose gold, but that's fine. That's fine. I like it. 
All right, I'm gonna use this one to blend it out. My faces, guys, the faces I make when I do my makeup. How many times do I open my mouth? <laughs> I'm gonna go back there and count. Hi, Gabby! Oh my god, your baby boy is so cute. You give me baby fever. <laughs> Alright, now I'll go through and do the blush. So I'll do it with my blush brush. And I'm gonna do this one again. I don't know <laughs> if it's gonna be too light for me. If it is, I'll just pop on another one on top. But. Ooh. We'll see. I think it's pigmented. Ugh. Maybe not. No, that's good. Yeah, it's good. It's actually pretty. I like it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Can you see you see the shade there? <sighs> You're welcome, Gabby. Hey, huh, that was all you and your man, girl. <laughs> I think I grabbed more on this side. That's the cheeks. Oh, I really like that highlighter, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see. I really like that highlighter. I feel like it just broke up my makeup a little here. So, yeah, maybe do all the cream stuff before the powder. <laughs> but, all right, I'm gonna finish the bottom of my eyes and then I'm gonna top it off with the lip. Um, the liquid lip splash. Hey, George. So, we get situated. This is the way. I do this one. Whoops, I just dropped that. And then, I think, I'm pretty sure that there was a black liner on the bottom lash line. So, I'm going to grab my black liner. And I saw my white one, and I was going to do white, but I'm pretty sure in the picture it's black. Still a little too black. But I have hair everywhere. Oh, you guys, I shed like a freaking husky in the summer, I swear. And I have a husky. I would know. Okay, so let's do the colors first. All right. So, in the picture that um, I'm recreating here, there was um, the same as the top. So, it has the navy blue and the gold exactly on the bottom. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the navy gold and then, um, or navy blue and then the gold. So, again, I'm taking that blue from palette number four. I'm going to do... I think I'm going to use my crease brush for that, just because it's, it's smaller. Should I do crease, or is that too much? I feel, uh, mm, which one? Which one should I use? I'll do this. I'll do the sponge brush, and then I'll blend it with the crease. Okay. Let's do that, just because I want to, again, I want to keep it precise.
So I'm just taking that blue on the outsides here, kind of matching the top. And then I'll do the gold in the middle. But I'm going to blend this out before I add the gold, just like I did on top. I don't want it to look all muggy and gross. <laughs> or should I just leave it like this, you guys? Does this look weird like this? <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no. You guys. I'm sorry for all the faces I make and if I stick out my tongue. <laughs> Hey Sadie. So I've mentioned I'm not going anywhere, but now I have to go somewhere. Look at this. This is coming out so much better than I planned or that I thought. I seriously doubted myself. Now I have to go somewhere. Where should I go? What should I do? What's going on today? What are you guys doing on Sun is today Sunday. I think today's Sunday. I can't go out too late because I have work tomorrow. My boss might watch this video. I don't know. She'll know. If I show up late or don't answer her text, she'll know I did something. <laughs> Your phone died. Mine's almost dying. If it dies on you guys, I'm sorry. It alerted me already that there's 20%, so we'll see how much farther I get with this. I, mean, I still have to get an alert about the 10, so I think we should be okay for right now. Alright, that's enough blending. I'm going to go in with the blonde, or the blonde. I'm going to go in with the blonde. I'm going to go in with the gold. Sorry if you guys are blonde out there. I didn't mean it like that. Mm, which one should I use for that? Should I use that cream one? The cream shadow? Where's the cream shadow one? There you are. I'll use the same one. So the cream shadow brush for the gold. Ooh. I feel like that's a lot for the bottom. Whoa, you can't even see it. What's the point of this? You can't even see it. Can you see it? I guess you can see it a little bit. Mm. All right. Not even gonna blend that. I feel like I'm going to take it away if I blend. I'm just going to leave it like that. Because I do what I want. And it's my makeup look. So, I'm just going to leave it like that. Now I'm going to finish my eyes. I'm going to grab my mascara that dropped. So, if you see the mess behind me, sorry. So, the Epic, I already did one coat on the top. I'm going to do my coat for the bottom, and then I'm going to go over the top with my 3D mascara. So, you'll see both. Again, this is what I do when I have bold looks like this, or if I'm going to a party, and I don't want to wear false lashes, but I want my lashes to look very nice and bold and fierce. This is what I do. 
Okay. So this is Epic on my bottom lashes and my top. Now I'm going to do my mascara, my 3D. But I'm going to do my eyeliner and my water, waterline. Is that what it's called? This is just, um, this is called Perfect. It's just the color black. Chavelita! What are you doing, Chavelita? Look it. I did my makeup. We should do something. Are you working? Alright, so I just did black in my waterline. Now I'm going to do my 3D mascara at the top. And then I'll do my liquid lip splash. And then that's it. Alright guys, I've officially now hit 10%. So this will be the last of it. <laughs> I promise. I just gotta hurry up. So no more talking. <laughs> okay, so the 3D comes in two tubes. We have the mascara and the fibers. Um, Erica, this is the other mascara that we have. So I'm gonna do the gel. You see how the wand is different? If you opened up your Epic. <laughs> That's what the one looks like there. Chave, can you not see me? I'm here, girl. I'm doing a live. Calling you out. I want to do something. Hey, we still got to get together with Boo Boo. If you can't see me right now, watch the replay. Hey, and hashtag replay if you watch the replay. Alright guys, so the gel in this mascara is what holds the fibers in, right? So that they're not falling all over your face. So I like to really coat it with gel. I do one eye at a time for this reason, okay? This is what the fibers one looks like. It's not even a wand. It's just a bunch of fibers on there. So I like to grab my hand and I seriously just roll it in there. It gets rid of all the fibers that would fall off. Just presses them together. And then I coat my lashes. And I'm only going to do one coat of this on camera so I can do my liquid lip splash because I feel like my phone's going to die. Okay. So I did that. And then I'm going back with the gel. And I'll show you guys the difference in my lashes. Yes, I will take a selfie. So you guys can really see the difference because I don't feel like this is showing you the difference. Ah. Stelly! What are you doing, Estelle? Are you on your boat? Are you fishing? Alright, I'm just going to do that one because I feel like my phone's going to die. And I'm going to do my liquid lip splash because I want you guys to see it. Now I said I was going to do two. I don't know if I'll have time for two now. Okay, I'm going to do the baby pink one that Brittany wants to see. This is the liquid lip splash and sumptuous. By now, my lip plumper is already kind of worn down. So. Oh my god, this is too much. Uh-uh, I'm not wearing this out today. Estelle, except for the lips. I'm going to change this. This is just basically a request. Brittany, you better watch this video. You better love this video, and you better comment on this video. I'm doing this for you. <laughs> mm. I don't like it. Mm -mm. I don't. But you know what? That's all right. So this is for you, Brittany. My pink lips with my blue, blue and gold, navy gold eye. This is for you. Enjoy it. Take a selfie. I'll stand still. All right. I'm going to switch it out for what I would wear with this. We are going to do Stellar, which is a nice nude. Let me grab. Oh, I just dropped it. I'm just taking a wipey. I'm 
my lip plumper is still on my lips, so I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to reapply. I'm just going to do the nude real quick before my phone dies. This is Stellar. Same liquid lips flash. This is just a nude. This is the color I would wear with this. All right. I am going to let you guys go so I can upload this video. I will finish my other eye with a 3D mascara. I want you guys to see the difference. I don't know if you can see. But I'll take pictures if you can't. Um, so I can show you guys the difference. And then I'm going to post that below this video. But I got to go because, hi, Pia. Yes, this looks much better with this, right? Um, I'm going to let you guys go so I can let this upload. Watch the replay. Good stuff. And comment, like, message me. Anything? Alright, I'll let you guys go. <laughs> Thanks for watching.